Hey guys, so today's video is a haul video and almost like a combination of what I got for Christmas as well. Not that I have very much to show you because a lot of it is like more house stuff and I got things like rice cookers and things like that and like lots of money and stuff like that but um I've got loads of home decor stuff so I really hope you don't mind I'll get all the fashion stuff done first the fashion and beauty first and then I'll show you guys the home decor stuff as well but I've got loads to show you so I'll get started I've almost forgot I did do that gift Christmas gift ideas for girls and there were a few things I said that people could have so in the bottom bar, I have left the names of the winners. So the first thing I want to show you is these boots that I got. And they look humongous. They're not that humongous. And actually, I like them because you guys know I've got this foot complex thing. And um, my feet are massive. They're not, they, no, they're massive. For my height, my feet are massive. I'm a size eight, basically. And these make them look really good. They're like Chelsea boots. And I've been looking for Chelsea boots for ages, but every Chelsea boot I ever find makes me look like a boat foot, literally. It's just so long. So I have to get one with a heel, but this has got a really chunky heel and a really chunky platform. And they look fabulous on, and I've been wearing the death at them already. And these were from Office, but the Office in Topshop. And alongside that, I bought another pair of leather trousers. And um, I have this issue with leather trousers. I often buy, I've had like two pairs in the past, but they always split on me. I found that, I don't know why they split, but they always split. So this is the Topshop pair, which are kind of a snake skin, and they're in a size 10, but already I found them to be a bit funny here and there when it comes to like sizing and stuff. But um, I really like them because they're skinny and I love the texture on them. So I'm hoping these don't fail me like the Zara ones did. I bought this midi, um, it's like a midi skirt and it's a really fitted one. I bought it in a size eight, but it's actually in tall. So it comes to really awkward length, but I quite like the length it comes to. And it's actually like a teal green, which looks quite blue on camera. No idea why. But I also got a few bits from Zara and it has to be, I love these. Are my, I think these are my favorite purchase. And it's these little patent, like, what do you call these? Like dolly shoes or ballerina shoes? which are absolutely fabulous. I wish you could see the front. I'm gonna zoom in to focus. This is what they look like here. And they're absolutely so cute. Little patent shoes and oh! So those are more or less gonna be for work, but they were only 20 pounds. So I was like, oh my gosh, that is amazing. This, I've realized that this camera is making things look really weird. Cause these look blue, but they, well they are kind of blue, but they're like a gray blue. Actually, it does look a bit grey blue, but these are skinny um, jegging leggings, and I really love this kind of distressed grey. It looks really nice with like slouchy clothes and stuff like that. But I love these. These are again only twenty pounds as well from Zara. This bag was my December pick with Just Fab, and I'll put a link below. I absolutely love this bag when this bag came through. Like my old work bag, I binned it. I was like, this is my new work bag. Like, I love this, and like, it's really big, and it's got loads of different compartments on the inside, and it's like, great. I can fit my laptop in it as well, but remember, I've got a really mini laptop for work, and um, I just love this, and can you guys see the quilt detail? So that's the quilt de detail there. Really, really cute. I love this bag. So the Urban Retreat Boutique, and I think they're based in Harrods, they basically sent me a massive box of like beauty stuff and I've just pulled up some of the main things that I was really happy to receive. I was really happy to receive everything, but the key things I was like, yes! So first of all, it's this, um, you can't really see very well, but it's this Duval Argan Bronzing Oil. And you'll think, what am I using a bronzing oil for? Girl, that's how I get my glow. <laughs> and I love this because in the winter I can get very sallow and it adds really nice texture and everything to me. So I love that. And I got two OPI nail polishes and I've never had any OPI before. I've never felt inclined to buy them. But I've got a top coat and I've got the um, red one here as well. It's called Vodka and Caviar. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I also got the NARS Super Orgasm Illuminator. This stuff is the bomb. I'm someone who loves a glow and this really, really gives me a glow. I love this. So I also bought from Lush um, this popcorn lip scrub because we ended up getting loads of people products from Lush because Lush has got some great stuff for like my sister and stuff. But I've been suffering from really dry lips recently. Over the winter, it's just been absolutely nuts dry. So I bought the lip scrub to basically use 
and then to moisturize and hopefully come up with a new lip regime to get my lips perfect again. If you guys want to see anything like a lip regime, let me know because I could probably do a video on that. Okay, so I'm going to move on to all the kind of home stuff and um, the Christmas gifts that I got as well. So yay, I got the MacBook Pro. This was the gift from the hubby, so I didn't get much else besides this. But um, I never thought I'd be one of these Mac people, like, oh, I need an iMac this, I need an iMac that. But, um, like, I got the iMac last year, and I really felt like I need, I really felt like I needed the Pro. But I really felt like I needed a laptop, just because with the iMac, it's got great processing, and um, it can hold loads. But if I need to move about with it, I can't do that. So, hubby bought me this and said that this would be useful. It means that I can sit on my laptop in bed rather than sitting in a room by myself. So, yay! For my, my sister, she got me these really cute, and I'm showing you these because they can be, um, like you can see them, but she also got me a rice cooker because she knows I didn't have one and I love rice. <laughs> and, but I got these as well, these little lotion tubs. I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna have to zoom in again. Can you see that? How cute is that? Pum, 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 pum. I was also given this mug from uh, Mike's aunt and it says keep calm and carry on shopping. I thought how cute is that? And like, obviously she knows me fairly well so she put me, picked me in this really cute cup which no one is allowed to use in my house but me. Again, I think most people um, got me house stuff because they knew that we just moved in and there's loads of bits and bobs that we need. But we've got this little wood plaque here which says I don't know if you can see, it says friends, welcome. And then I also got this one here, um, which is live well, live well, laugh often, and love much. So cute. Can you see that? It's live well, laugh often, love much. I also got one of these, which says home, sweet home. So I'm just hanging this off my door now. It's really cute. I actually got that from my boss. Like, well, my manager on the project that I'm on, really nice. So. To be totally honest with you, that's actually it for gifts that I can kind of come and show you. Um, as I said, we didn't get much, like, I didn't get much physical gifts. But I'm gonna show you some of the other home stuff that I've hauled as well over the past few weeks. So firstly, I've got these little heart stones, which say love, no, luck, happiness, and peace. And this is from that shop called Tiger. It's a bit like Ikea, but smaller. And like, I've only ever seen it two or three times. But I love these. They just look really nice on my windowsill or on a table. And they were only, I think they were about a pound each. And they're really heavy, so they're great paperweights and stuff like that. Um, I went into Ikea as well, and I kind of went um, trinket, as I call it, trinket crazy. And um, I've bought about three of these candle holders. So I don't know if you can see my candles over there. I've got two of the short ones and one of the long one. And it's, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see how pretty it looks. But it's really pretty. And oh, it's really bright. But it also bought um, a number of candles as well. This is a polka dot one. And I've also got a striped one. And I think this was again, 1.99. And I also, oh, you can see outside. I also bought this really nice mirror for my king. And it was, okay, this is actually only five pounds. And this is absolutely fabulous. I love this. And I also bought another mirror for my king, which you might be able to see behind me, but it's too heavy for me to bring it over. So <laughs> you get the idea that's over there. So another piece of homeware thing I wanted to show you is this mammoth cup. Great if you like tea. No, I'm joking. It's not for tea, it's for putting plants in. And I don't know who got me this. I actually genuinely don't know who got me this. But I was like, this needs to be shown in a hall. It's like Mad Hatter's tea party. How cute is this? I love it, I love the color. I love everything and I love having plants in my room. So I'm really glad that someone got me this. So some other random home things I've got are things like hangers. And basically I've got my new wardrobe and I was like, I want to keep my wardrobe really clean. I had a massive clear out and I decided I wanted all the same hangers and I hate like clippy hangers and hangers that just fell basically and my stuff always falls off. So I found out about these flop velvet hangers and I bought a bunch of them from eBay and Amazon and I'll put the links below. And I think initially I bought them in Tesco and I got 
tw 12 for 20 pounds or something like that or so it was quite expensive like 20 pounds and there weren't that many then i went online and literally found better quality ones and it was 25 pounds for 50 so um i've literally replaced most of my hangers with these hangers and they're like a flock velvet and they look really nice and basically they, they all your clothes stick onto this so it doesn't fall out so i love those Again, probably if you watch my vlog channel, you would have seen me talk about those before. But I'm also doing a lot of decorating, as some of you might know. And, like, we're trying to not buy everything new and everything from Ikea. And um, we bought some, like, solid wood um, dresses from um, a local guy. And, um, I not dresses, um, bedside cabinets. And I didn't like the handles, so I went online and found these drawer knobs. And they're in, like, a gorgeous crystal. And they were, I think I got these for £11 for eight. And literally, I went into Zara Home. Zara Home had one of these for four ninety nine. So I had an absolute bargain. They're lovely. I might show you what it looks like when I do a room tour one day. I also bought another set of doorknobs, which you probably can't see. But this is white with chrome around it and this is for my room um, in here. And for those of you who are like just trying to spruce up their room, all you need to do is buy little things here and there, get your dad's drill or a screwdriver and just like put, new, replace like knobs and handles and like things with just little things that are really cheap rather than buying a whole new dresser or a whole new wardrobe, just buy new handles, um, give it a coat of paint or something like that. And I also bought um, this handle as well to add on to my shoe cupboard which is absolutely cute and I, it's, again it's just to make it look a bit more unique versus looking like the same stuff that you find everywhere. And finally guys, I went into Matlan. I never go into Matlan. Literally, Michael went to like screw fix, like some builder man shop. And Matlan was the only thing there. And I went in there and I was like, oh my gosh, what is this place? <laughs> Amazing, right? So I bought these storage boxes. I don't know if you can see them. Like this massive um, box for basically hats, belts, extra shoes and extra um, bags that I don't have a place for and I bought three of these and they're massive like they're massive and already you can see some fur hats and belts in there but I bought that and that was five pounds and I've got them I have to show you I've got them just above my um, shoe shoe dresser thingy bob and it looks really cute and it means that you can put all your junk in there. But if you've got extra makeup or, or junk you don't want, this thing is amazing for that. And I also bought this welcome mat from there as well. And this was five pounds again. I was just like, what? So this was five pounds and it's a welcome mat for downstairs. And I just thought it was really pretty and really homely. So this is my final amazing bit from um, Matlan and this was £20 and it's more like, it's called an ottoman, it's like a seat slash box slash storage slash everything, I love it, I'll move back because it, oh, wire, because it could be hard to see but, so it's like this, you can sit on it and it's got storage on the inside. £20 guys, if you don't want to buy new cupboards, you don't want to buy new dresses, <laughs> this is amazing basically I've already put all my like electrical stuff in there rollers and close it up put it under a table it's absolutely fabulous and you can get a whole load in there I'm actually going to buy another one of these because it's absolutely fabulous so guys that's it for the haul I know it's a bit random, a bit higgledy piggledy, but if you guys want to see more like homes decor type stuff, I'm definitely in the process of buying a lot more stuff for the house. And if you don't like it, sorry. <laughs> um, and we'll be done soon, so don't worry. Make sure you guys check out my vlog channel as well, because it's a lot more fun over there. Oh no, it's not. It's fun here, but it's fun there as well. It's a bit more real it's a bit more candid camera basically anyway guys i will see you later and do remember to subscribe if you want more and thumbs up bye guys <laughs>